greetings and salutations everybody welcome back once again and for the very first time to the farts and crap show where today as per usual it's your host Anjo here with part 12 I believe I think that's right yeah of nobody saves the world the ps4 version running on the ps5 hope you guys are all doing well today and um uh, yeah on today's episode i'm gonna be finishing this um this quest guerrilla warfare 2 uh for the knight's guild that's that's what it was for um and yeah i i eh, took took a shot uh -huh. last time um Towards the end of the video, and um, I wasn't sure. Like they don't tell you like how many targets there are on this one. Um, so I did look it up, and I didn't find much. And surprisingly, there were no walkthroughs on Game Facts for this game, which like. I haven't seen that in a very long time. Just like... A game that's been out for quite a while. Had like, pretty good reception. And um... Just like, no walkthroughs. At least on GameFAQs. Like, that was... Surprising. What are you waiting for? Start the challenge now! Okay, fine. Thought maybe he'd have more to say. I didn't talk to him the first time. Or the last time, I should say. The ultimate ranger challenge isn't something an ordinary ranger can complete. You must hit every target. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, the final part where there's like three sets of five targets. And uh, at the last... Yeah. At the end of the last episode, um, I hit two out of the three sets. I was like, hmm. Didn't get it. Almost got the third one, but apparently it didn't count because it was like a little too close. Um, and that would have been victory. Because, yeah, that's, that's the end of the challenge. So... It's alright, I got it. I got it this time. Pretty sure. It's It's been a little bit... Um, same recording session, but like I took a break and stuff and... Feeling a bit more relaxed. Which is both a good thing and a bad thing. Crap. And the dash would make it easier, but I don't need to use it. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I, well, I forgot the... Give me a second. Yes, 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 yes. Hold on. Mm. 
damn it. Yeah, no, you have to go a little bit early on that final set, and it's because the timing, man, is just. Timing is rough. Oops. Damn it. fine. That was more than a little early, apparently. This guy has ever done this. Shit. Mm hmm. Probably just use the dash. It would make this a little bit easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just messing up on the easy stuff now. Guess that was a tiny bit late. Uh, uh, 
sometimes forget like how early you can go for like damn it not the blob the, the arrows like it doesn't even have to hit the front of the target didn't count apparently. hear the sound effects, so, like, I didn't think it was starting. I thought I didn't wait long enough for the cooldown. having trouble with that one target now. So I guess you can hold the input early. Yes, you can. Okay. Though now I'm not sure I have enough. Damn it.
just on most games when like a skill has a cooldown like any inputs before the cooldown is finished will be ignored the last one because apparently I shot a little bit early because I thought I had to. It's fine. It's all good. Yeah. Fuck. I find it hilarious this guy is like giving me so much shit. That's something he can't do. Like, <laughs> like well, of course not. I'm not a ranger, but if I was, I I would do this like perfectly every time. Yeah. I love that kind of logic. I've I've heard that like real in earnest before. People like speculating about skills that they don't have. I find it hilarious. Like, if you were, then you would. Okay. early yeah okay it's fine yeah now I'm like more used to how the blob thing works so like before yeah before I was just kind of like trying to time the um wasn't ready okay hold on like I don't know why but for how for how my brain works like aiming for the middle target like for the ball to hit the middle target is easier than like trying to time fuck my bad um like where the front of the set of targets is going to be in relation to like, yeah. I don't know why that's easier for my brain, but it just is. Shit. Way early. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. I keep second guessing it, just like, oh, whoa, well, that has to be in the thing. It's like, no, I know how the ball flies. So just have the ball hit the middle target. Easy. Because if you. Oh my goodness. Because if you have it hit the middle target, then the other ones will definitely be destroyed. But like, I talked about this on the previous episode, but I was like, well. The ball kind of has a tiny bit of an active hitbox because it has to like splash on like down. And so like you can go like a tiny bit early. I think you can. But like trying to take advantage of that like isn't as reliable. Fuck. Part of the problem is like the screen doesn't move. And like the ranger's already wearing, like, earthy colors, so, like, I'm not actually looking at the ranger to, like, double-check my position, and I'm shifting around a lot. Fuck. So it's, like, trying to keep track of, like, four different moving layers on top of, like, trajectory and stuff, so, like, in my opinion, first-person stuff is a lot easier. Um in games where archery is first person. Because it's like, you don't have to worry about perspectives and stuff, it's just your perspective. Fuck. In a three-dimensional space, but, um... Yeah, you have like... You have like your... Fuck. You have like the character, which is like one layer, then three layers of targets. And so, like, I think it's a lot easier just to stand at the line. Fuck. Trying to explain this and fucking up the actual test in the process. Um, so at least you know the distance is consistent. Consistent. And then I just use the D-pad left and right, so... Which, thankfully, you can move with the D-pad, because if I had to do this with the analog stick, that would just be a problem. Tried to go too early because I know I don't have to hit like the middle of the target. In fact, going for the middle of the target. Fuck. For the ones where you're supposed to use the charge arrow. Will make you miss the ones in the back, typically. So. And it really doesn't help that I'm starting to get kind of tired, even though I just had a bunch of coffee. It's just been... a very long couple of days. And I did not sleep great. fucking thing because they thought the ball wasn't going to be ready and so I overcompensated like if it's fully charged then that makes things easier I can just like 
release at the right time. See, that was early, but the active hitbox took it out. Completely on the first one, it was kind of too late to recover. I wonder if it'd be easier just to like. Oh, that is easier. So it's like here, kind of? Shit. Yeah, I mean, it's more of an all or nothing approach, but... In general, it's better to go a little bit early. Better early than late. go early. Stop doing that. Like, 
the micro adjustments like really mess me up. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to get all four. Oh, jeez. Not sure why that didn't count for the front one there. Yep, that was late. She would just ask me if I want to retry. I'm like, come on. Thought that was a little late, actually. It's fine. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, you did it! I can't believe it, Mighty Knight. Is this the first person to beat the challenge? Yeah, probably. How about fuck you both? Today is the happiest day of my life. I'll try the challenge again. No. You're ready. Oh yeah, go waste someone else's time? What else are you doing here, man? Cool. That only took, what? Half an hour. Great. Cool. Good stuff. Um, for fuck's sake. Well, thanks for being here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. That's gonna... No, that's not gonna do it for today. That was such, like... Yeah. Call that an episode. Or, like, get one quest done. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna explore and like do some other shit. Uh, uh partially because of um one, two, three things right here. Which I'm assuming is like that way. Probably. I don't know. So let's uh make time. Actually kinda hate using the horse to get around. Like I think the rat is like roughly the same speed. And with the rat you don't have to like waste time by turning like yeah. Uh which one was I supposed to be working on? Bodybuilder I think. Stomp, pump up, five enemies with ones, okay. Any condition for pump up? No. Just deal damage with it. Okay. It's fine. I feel like this is a great opportunity because there actually are five right there. Oh. This is where I found the hammer guy. Again.
He's so jiggly, lower curse hills. Oh, is this gonna be like some of that calamity shit? I'm a Nian. Giddy. Is it town? This is a travesty! This is gonna be Randy again. Oh. No, it's a... A witch, I guess. Sacred catacombs, the resting place for our witch founders, corrupted by fungal presence. If only we could freshen up with the fetches. <laughs> All right, they must surely be spinning in their graves. I mean, literally, from the goo digging into the catacombs foundation, the new. Did you just say you bury your dead under? Oh, there. Yeah, they're catacombs. What do you think catacombs are? Oh, fair point. Stupid grin he's got on his face, he's just like, Hey ladies, hey, you like this? <laughs> See these? Dancing, yeah. Dancing in the street, you know what I mean? <laughs> got moves like Jagger. Alright. The new League of... Alright, I'm just gonna ignore all that. New League of Wizards have the catacomb locked down for everyone's safety. Only new L.O.W. acolytes. Oh, League of Wizards, low. Gotcha. Only new LOW acolytes are allowed inside. I'm very sorry, but until we get this incident under control, that's how it's gotta be. If you really want it in fast, you could become an acolyte of the new LOW. The new low, right? They're in the majestic tower to the south and they're always looking for new members. <laughs> well, I do have one of those. Just gonna ignore that too. <laughs> All right, the new League of Wizards, I love it. Wait, if these are catacombs, then why do you also have these? <laughs> oh, those are just decorations, you know. We never take down the Halloween decorations here. Is that just an alien? Are you... Are you... Is that just an alien in like one of those you know, those old-timey mask things where it's just like the nose and mustache and glasses. What? Of course I'm a human, I'm a human. I swear on my four-chambered heart, I can prove it. All right, I can't prove it. It's hard to believe, but I'm not actually human. <laughs> wow, really? Me and my people are disguised, searching for de-sex of de Fibriculator. Desexofibrillicator? Fib oh. Is that how you spell defibrillator? Defibrillicator? Man, a defib. Um, but they put sexo in the middle of it? Just be sound goofy and uh, I don't know uh, this thing to repair a crash ship oh right how can we recognize each other now concealed with these masterful disguises curse our splendid technology my anguish gland is full I may never find my friends again please you see someone you are absolutely sure is not earthling tell them to meet at our ship okay unidentified fallen object that would also be UFO, yeah. I will journey there now, bipedally. My fate is in your hands, Earth Dweller. I really like this track, too. Surprise, surprise, new music in the game. Danger likes it. Not always, just 
in this game most of the time. I'm gonna... I'm gonna blend. There we go. Hello, do you, do you, any of you find this offensive? I'm sorry if I'm shitting all over your culture. Actually, they'd probably be happier with me just like as a rat or a slug. I might like slugs. I might hate rats. Kids, don't touch that. Take it out of your mouth. It's a toxic demonic mess from the other dimension, not candy. But it tastes like candy. I feel woozy. You stick your face and it leaves an imprint for a bit. Kids? Hey, want to support a vital institution in the free world? I'm talking journalism, baby! An upcoming hero has been seeing adventure around New Old Town. Where in the cobblestone is, they're trying to find the missing Nostromantis. I only know one person who even kind of sounds like that, and he lives next to the Round Table's tavern. Do these uh, written interview questions, bring that serious with me, and get paid easy. Okay. A guy that sounds like that that lives next to the Round Table's tavern? The random guy that thinks the rabbits will keep him safe? You just break all my shit with cards. That's fucking cool. <laughs> Can you show me how to do that? And also talk with a French accent that's not quite French. I'm uh, cosplaying as Gambit for, you, you know, something, a thing. Definitely not a lemon, you know, party thing. There have been reports of a mysterious object crashing into the mountain recently. After analyzing the reports, we positively identified it as a UFO. Which means it's no longer unidentified. The UFO we identified is somewhere to the north. So it's definitely not a UFO, and it's not flying, so it's definitely not a UFO. But it flew. What you got? What you got? What you got? Explosive familiars? That's pretty fucking sick. Pretty fucking sick. As long as they don't explode into cute viscera. You cannot move slower than 100 speed? Oh, does that speed up some of the slower characters? Fuck. Well, if I had to choose, which I do, I'm gonna... get health? Complete dungeons. Oh, shit. And that's just, like, permanent. So I will take both of these. Thank you! Um... I think that coffee's finally kicking in. I can't be right. Probably getting my second wind is probably what it is. Um. So there's nothing else around here, huh? Wait, which one? Fuck, that's not the right button. Which one did I buy? I mean, they both sounded really good, but... Oh, explosive familiars. Right, okay. Um... I guess I'll do that. Can I improve those ones? Apparently, yes. 
Explosion size is larger. Oh, sick. Even larger, yeah. I mean, I got tons of upgrade tokens, so why not? Uh, explosion size is even sharp. Negative status effect. Oh, right. Hmm. Is that just there? Gotcha. For the main quest thing. Okay. Sir Pumpkin, the Elder's Court. Yeah, I've had that for quite a while. Illegal lizard, wizards, which I have to do. Yeah, if I fall an object, okay. Wasn't there already another thing over here? What is this? Oh. The hero? Oh, crap. Is he the guy that's like he and his wife are both like, Randy the rat is so cool. Fuck, really? Well, I'm just gonna, next episode, I'm gonna explore over here a bit, and then, um, you know, get some of these, uh, quests done. I think that'll about do it. And I really want to get zombie leveled up, but I don't think we have... Rats. Oh, consume. I read that as costume. I was like... What? Light or blunt? Okay, hit more baddies with clumpy. Okay. Um. Yeah, because I want to get Zom Nom Nom uh, improved, but I have to get to B first. And bodybuilder is just kind of falling behind, so. And I need to get that leveled up to get rogue. So. Yeah, that'll be the focus for now. Bodybuilder and zombie. But. Yeah, that's gonna do it for today, folks. When is move speed? Okay, move speed is 95 for zombie. Turtle is also 95, apparently. Slug is 80. Rat is 130, okay. 150, so horse is a little bit faster than rat. Just, just barely. Just barely. Okay. Sorry, right, I just wanted to <laughs> listen to the track a bit more. Kind of make sure I know what we're doing next one. Next episode. So. Anyway, thanks for being here once again, guys. Uh, before we get going, a very special thank you. Going out to the current Frets Crap Show members. Which, at the time of recording, is Novellus Draconis, Don Sabino, WTF Corey, and Aaron Shake. Thank you all so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly. Greatly helps out. Greatly appreciate it. If you guys want to be incredibly awesome and uh, get in on all those membership benefits, like these amazing people, uh, check out the join button or the link in the description that also says, like, become a member. Uh, tiers start at 3 bucks a month. It's only $0.10 cents a day. It gets you into all the basic stuff, including 
getting to vote on the series to get made here on the channel via the members choice polls this thing we do once a month typically for a full seven days well i mean it's typically once a month it's always for a full seven days um and we did already do one for may 2024 at the beginning of the month but may is also the anniversary month for the channel um so we are going to do another one closer to the end of the month which is typically when they happen anyway like the third or fourth week of the month um it's not intentional but that's just how it's been coincidentally for quite some time and uh yeah if you are a new member and you missed a few of the members choice polls um there's like almost 30 ish there's roughly 30 of them uh, over on the membership tab and uh any of them that you missed you can still vote on and that input will be considered for future members choice polls so um so yeah, even new members like you guys can still you know influence stuff that can get showcased in the future so um yeah but i feel like there's another thing oh this is an approximation of future announcements because when i'm recording this is in the past when you guys are watching this is in the future so uh, if you guys want to stay up to date on all the announcements as they happen and the bell doesn't work for you don't worry i've heard that from most people when i ask him about the youtube bell and um yeah, there's three ways to do that. So the community tab here on the channel, the Farts and Crap Show Twitter, or the Discord. I always post on all three whenever there's, like simultaneously, whenever there's an announcement. And so any of those three methods will work just fine. But, and links for those are down in the description, also on the channel banner. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for being here once again, guys. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all... Have a fantastic day.